Hey guys, it's Christy with Zen 10 Lotus Tarot, and I just wanted to come to you tonight to um, bring you some of this energy. Um, looks like, of course, I threw down some cards, you know, to see who the energy is for and who needs this message tonight. And um, it looks like it's uh, mainly for our air signs tonight. That would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So if you are those signs or you have those placements in your chart, this um, could have some messages in it for you. If this is not your message and it doesn't resonate, feel free to throw her out the window, let her go, and um, pray for whoever story it is. Um, so we are going to get started. And the first card that I chose for you guys is called From Nothing. Pick it up. From nothing to everything. Um, I love this. I love these illustrations. They're beautiful. Um, what this is about, this card. You know, we do a great deal. Especially when we're, um, when we're ascending or we're, um, our energy is changing or shifting or we have ideas in our mind about how we would like our life to unfold. Um, there are certain times in our life when we hold on um, not only to a story, but to people, to places, to things, um, to ideas, to illusions sometimes um, that aren't reality you know um, we create things in our mind all the time um, this can create negative attachments in our life um, it can it can be um, you know anything from fantasizing about uh, the perfect relationship um, fantasizing about um, the perfect work situation, the way that our job is going for us, the way that, um, you know, um, our life path is unfolding for us. And, and, and sometimes we hold on to a lot of things um, and a lot of ideas that aren't serving us. Um, sometimes because we're stubborn. Sometimes because... Um, Unfortunately, you know, uh, we aren't healed enough to know when it's time to let something go. Um, even if it's something that is a dream for us, even if it's something that's a wish for us, even if it's something that um, we've hoped for and prayed for and wished for and ruminated over and spent a lot of time, effort and energy trying to attain, you know, um, sometimes um we create almost like a toxic attachment to something that is not for us, okay? Um, and, and how do you decipher those things? How do you um, realize those things? Well, um, you know, it's not that easy. It's actually very difficult to uh, decipher when things are becoming uh, toxic or codependent or um, something that is actually negatively impacting our life. Um, it's easy to get into a comfort zone, right? Even sometimes when it's um, negative in nature. I mean, we hear about these stories all the time about people who are in abusive relationships or they're in... Um, situations that aren't serving them but there's some sort of level of comfort involved in the relationship and and sometimes it's um you know it, it can be even like a um as you know a relationship that's abusive and people are negatively attached to their abuser um you know it's, it takes a lot of internal healing of what is creating that um trauma bond between you and another person or you and a job situation or you and a um, in a dream in a goal in a um, 
idea in an imagined reality, okay? Um, this is difficult shadow work. This card is very, very deep. Um, the reason that I um, geared it towards the air signs today is because when I asked who this card and this information was for, the card that came up was justice um, for uh, the sign of Libra. And um, the Ace of Swords, which means truth, triumph, clarity, cutting things out of your life. Um, and that is an air sign card as well for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So um, I'm bringing this to you air signs because there's um, Spirit is telling you that there's something in your energy, whether it's um, a goal for you, whether it's a dream for you, whether it's... Um, a relationship that you've dealt with either now or in the past that you're still readily attached to in some way either in some kind of codependent toxic way um, but it still affects you on a daily basis you know it still um, is in your energetic heart space it's still in your energetic taking up space in your mind energetically um, you still have fears surrounding it. You still have um, fantasies about it. You still have illusions surrounding it. Um, and I don't know what that is for you. And, and, and you know, maybe it's not for you at all. But um, somebody in my collective of the Libras, Geminis, and Aquariuses need to hear this message. Um, some of the hardest things that we'll ever have to do. Um, I did a, I'm getting very stuffy tonight and I'm very sorry. I don't know uh, where that's coming from, but um, let me just take a drink of Diet Coke and hope that helps. Um, not that you want to hear me stiffling all night, right? You um, may find that um, when you're trying to go through your life and realize the things that serve you and the things that don't serve you, um, you know, it, you may have an attachment to a job that's toxic. You may have an attachment to a relationship that's toxic. You may have an attachment to um, a past situation, a trauma, uh, um, whatever it is. It doesn't allow you to spiritually or um, energetically evolve. It, it stops you in your tracks uh, because it's an attachment that is in your way of moving forward of allowing um, something new, of allowing um, allowing the good into your energetic space because this particular thing for you, this codependency to another person, place, thing, idea, creates a very large block of anything new coming into your life. So I want you to evaluate or, or to think of something in your life that you're um, energetically attached to or almost dependent upon. Um, but it's something that is literally just a comfort zone for you. It's not because um, it's almost like... Um, It's been a fantasy of ours for so long. It's been a love of ours for so long. It's been a wish of ours for so long. It's been a dream of ours for so long that we're just unable to let it go, you know? Um, out of stubbornness, out of um, the illusions that we've created around it, out of the idea of what we would love it to be, even if it's not. Um, and spirit is encouraging you at this time that it's time to pinpoint those attachments that you have 
in your energy that are blocking your blessings. You're an amazing being. Um, but you have some things um, in your story that are over. You know, that are... Um, or shouldn't be part of your story any longer. Maybe they were part of a chapter for you. Maybe they were to push you to your next level um, in some way. Maybe they were for a lesson. Maybe they were to help you grow energetically, but they've served their purpose. And at this time, um, they're now beginning to block your ability to see the reality of the situation, that there are better things coming for you if you can purge and um, let go of these negative attachments that you have and these can be to people places things ideas um, old belief systems um, you know um, dreams of yours goals of yours you know and, and it's like you know maybe it's a pipe dream I don't know I don't know what it is for you. Um, it could be um, some kind of a um, negative self-image that you have of, of you. You know, maybe it's a story that you continue to tell about yourself because you can't see it any other way. Um, but whatever this negative codependent attachment is, that you have in your life, it needs to be um, evaluated at this time. And it's time to prune. To prune your garden, bare if you have to, you know, so that you are able to see what's waiting to be harvested in its absence. It's almost like Imagine if you were so focused on this fantasy, this um, idea, this goal, this dream, this person, this um, relationship, that you didn't even, you can't even, you have actually a blindfold on to the reality that your next best thing is right past your tunnel vision of what you're thinking of at this point in time. It's just past it. But because those blindfold, those rose-colored glasses um, of illusion, confusion, um, delusion, in a way, um, are blocking you from seeing the truth of the matter, the clarity of the situation. Um, the fact that you deserve justice, you know, karmic justice in letting these negative attachments and codependencies go. It's time to let them go, whatever they are for you. You know, maybe it's just that you're stuck on an idea of you know, you just can't let go of what people think of you. And that holds you back in so many ways in your life. Excuse me. Maybe it's that um, you're not able to be um, open about who you truly are. Maybe you're wearing a false mask. And it's time for that mask to come off and for you to be proud of who you are. Um, whatever these negative attachments that you have, they're holding you back from being successful, from being um, independent, from being um, able to receive all the blessings that you deserve, you know? Um, karmic justice wants to be delivered to you, but it's something is blocking it. These negative attachments, these negative relationships, these um, codependent comfort zones of yours, um, these um, old ideas, these old um, story, 
these old um, fantasies of yours about um, the idea of something that you just can't see past um, are blocking everything great that wants to come into your energetic space at this time. So, so how can you start to begin to let this stuff go? Spirit is telling you, you know, you need to be able to embrace the idea of change. Embrace the letting go process. Embrace um, the pruning of your garden. Even if that garden seems like you're going to have a season of it being a little bare. You know, get to the bare bones of things so that you can go from nothing to everything. Everything that you deserve. Because when you get rid of all that stuff that's mucking it up, all those things that are blinding you, all those things that um, are keeping you stuck, that's when your garden can grow, when you have the ability to prune the weeds and play with the soil and figure out what that soil needs in order to be successful. Um, what that dream, goal, aspiration, relationship, person, place, thing, idea, what it needs to grow. Um, if you're holding on to things that are mucking it up, you can't even see where the plants are at. You know, you can't tend to them. You can't make sure they're watered and that they're fertilized properly. And, and you can't um, see what's getting chewed on by the parasites around your relationships and people and places and things and ideas. You know, you can't see if everything's there um, clouded or being, um, you know, full of smoke and mirrors. So spirit is telling you to embrace, embrace the pruning stage that you're in at this time so that you can go from nothing to everything, to everything, everything better, everything more, everything beautiful, everything um, fruitful that you deserve. There's something mucking up your energy at this time. Figure out what it is. You know what's toxic in your life. Everybody does. Even when we don't like to admit it. Even when we don't like to um, think that we could be um, fooled. Or that we could be um, manipulated. Or that we could be um, lying to ourselves you know we're stubborn we like to be right um, and this is one situation where it's okay to admit and embrace that maybe just maybe something is wrong for you and maybe you were wrong about something and maybe you were wrong um, in the way that you were perceiving something, a relationship, a person, a place, a thing, an idea, um, a goal, an aspiration for you, you know? Maybe it's time to go back to the drawing board. Spirit is encouraging you that, you know, this may require um, in your coming up for you a voyage. And that might be a voyage through your own reality. And it might be a voyage to a new destination for you. And it might be a voyage um, out of the depths and into the light. You know? But it's time for you to understand that um, it's time to go on an internal journey to get to know those things that are um, in your way and letting them go.
you know, letting them go so that you get to receive all that you're worth. Um, and, and maybe that scares you to go on that voyage. Maybe it, um, frightens you because it's your, you're out of your comfort zone at that time. Maybe you've gotten comfortable in a toxic relationship. Maybe you've gotten comfortable at a toxic work environment. Maybe you've gotten comfortable, um, in a toxic dream that you have for yourself to the point that, you know, it's become a fantasy only, you know, and spirit is telling you it's time to go through that voyage of figuring out what are those things that are standing in your way of realizing a true, beautiful reality instead of a fantasy, instead of an illusion, instead of a delusion, instead of the, um, negative attachment to a fantasy that you get to experience the true beauty of something in your reality that's waiting to come to you at this time but is blocked by this energy so what is it for you can you begin to start to evaluate um, your life and, and what it is that that you notice that you become aware that this has become a little bit out of control you know a little bit uh, codependent a little bit toxic a little bit um, fake <laughs> you know and phony what are those things for you um, Spirit is asking you to evaluate them at this time, but to know that while you're going through this voyage, no matter where you are, no matter where you're going in this process, no matter what you discover, no matter how long it takes you, and no matter where you end up, you are protected and you're loved beyond measure. And it's only for your own good that you realize and release anything in your environment at this time that is mucking it up from growing, from you growing, from you evolving, from you ascending um, into the greatness and the abundance and the love and the uh, blessings that want to be delivered to you from the divine. So we're going to throw some cards down and see if we can't get a little bit more clarity on what this is, you know, that wants to come in for you. This, um, you know, this is new beginnings in, in um, truth and clarity and um, justice being served to you, you know, the karmic justice that you actually deserve. Not the karmic justice that you're blocking at this time. Oh my goodness. Two cards that come out. You are blocking a divine masculine who happens to be a soulmate connection or somebody that could be your husband or your wife or your... Um, divine counterpart from coming into to you at this time. This is typically a twin flame connection. You know, we've got a divine masculine here and we've got the four of wands, which is a twin flame usually connection. So you may have, <laughs> truth be told, truth be told with the big old sword, you may have a twin flame that is trying to come into your energetic space at this time, but you're blocking it by negative attachments, by codependencies, by things that you're not willing to let go of in order to let this in. This is a divine counterpart. Right now you're left out in the cold. You're lacking. Um, you're feeling... Maybe in a relationship situation, you're feeling like you're, you know, it's not what you expected. You know, you feel left out of the cold most of the time. You're not getting the love that you want. You're not getting the, att 
attention, affection, nurturing that you desire. Um, and your justice is ready to come in from the divine to give you all that you're lacking. <coughs> you're, man <laughs> you're manifesting it. You know, you've manifested it. How? Because you've voiced, you've prayed, you've thought of, you've compared and contrast, you know? You have that contrast every day to say, this is what I know I don't want. Because there's something that's negative in your environment that shows you every day what you don't want. And then there's things that you know you do want that are lacking. You know, we just saw the five of pentacles. And, and in some way, you're in a state of lack or of feeling lost or um, left behind or abandoned in some way. And it's like, um, so that contrast comes to you so that you can realize what it is that you do deserve. So that you can begin to focus on manifesting what it is that you want. But the first way that you, in order to do that, is to let go of anything that's mucking that up for you. You know, if we're too busy fantasizing or um, being in a state of illusion about the reality of a situation that's possibly codependent or toxic in some way, we can't allow in a healthy relationship. We can't allow in the space um, to manifest something that we actually want and desire for ourselves. And at the bottom of the deck, the Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine counterparts. <laughs> Look, twin flames, yo. You got a twin flame out there that you're blocking. Blocking. <laughs> Can't make it up. You cannot make it up. You're blocking it because there's something that you're not allowing. You're not, you're not embracing the idea of letting toxicity go in your life. You know, it's time to do the shadow work. It's time to heal. It's time to get to a place where you begin understanding your own worth enough to allow the right kind of love in, to allow a letting go process to happen, to go from nothing. You know, you may feel like at a point in time where like, oh my gosh, I now have nothing. What do I do? And, and Spirit says, I got the perfect, perfect thing for you. If you're willing to have faith, if you're willing to try something different, if you're willing to let it all go, to see what comes. Blocking, blocking <laughs> divine counterparts. What is the advice? Please, dear God, what can we tell Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? Or anybody that has that in their chart? Time to heal. Time to allow your wish to come true by letting go of anything that's blocking it. Yes, it's time to bring balance. This has been a burden on your back. You know? Sometimes it's easy and like that we get in a comfort zone, even with things that are traumatic, abusive, toxic. Um, we get in a certain weird comfort and it's like, is this comfortable for you? How comfortable is that? You're carrying around 10 wands, up a hill, sweating, tired, exhausted, mentally drained, can't move another muscle. It's time to put them down, you know, tens are completion. It's time to put this burden down. You know, these toxicities, these things that are blocking your blessings, 
It's time to put them down so that you can start new, passionate, new beginning in love. One, in fact, <laughs> that's divinely guided. It's by God. The Emperor, the Empress, the Four of Wands, the Star. I mean, from nothing to everything. And that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. Time to walk away from anything that's not serving you. Attachments that are unhealthy. Codependency. Fears of abandonment. Sometimes you gotta be alone. Sometimes you gotta let it all go to see what can be born of it. To see what's being birthed in its place. You know? Um, go within. The hermit card. Get the wisdom, the knowledge. Um, you know, remember the lessons you've learned. The things that you've been through. The hardships, the, tra the trauma, the um, fears. The worries, the anxieties, and the feelings. The feelings of not enoughness. Because you know there's something better out there for you. You know there's something more. Go within. It's time to do the work. The inner wisdom of embracing a change. The voyage, the journey, the healing process. Getting everything that you want and desire. If you're willing to let some shit go that doesn't serve you, you know, the toxicity, the codependency, the fears of abandonment, you're safe. Spirit says no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter who you let go of, no matter what you decide is no longer serving you, you are protected and you are loved beyond measure. That's those two cards. I'm going to give you a couple of channel messages, see what comes out for you. And then we'll be done, guys. Already at 30 minutes. Good golly. <sighs> Toxic relationships need purged. Emotional manipulation is affecting your relationship. Beware. Patience is required. Someone is refusing to listen to their intuition. Big mistake. What does your intuition tell you about these attachments that you have? These relationships that are toxic in your environment? These um, ideas that continually keep you blocked? You know, even ideas of your own, who you are in this world, your own identity crisis, your own um, inability to accept who you are in this world. All those things that are toxic for you, all those toxic attachments, you know, you're not listening to your intuition. You know it needs changed. You know these things need purged, excuse me, in your life so that you can allow love and true connection into your world. This is a reality. It's not a fantasy. You know? Just like earlier, the storm is brewing. Get ready for battle. Protection is needed. Codependency is affecting your relationship. Read Footprints in the Sand. It's a poem. Um, it's beautiful. And, you know, sometimes when we feel like, um, just read the poem. It's freaking great. Um, identity Crisis. Who am I? Why am I the way that I am? You know, you may be experiencing an identity crisis. Like, if I change who I am. If something in my life changes drastically, who am I? You know, maybe, maybe um, you're having trouble in figuring all that out. And it is difficult. And, and spirit knows your struggle. 
footprints in the sand. Please read it. You versus you. Evaluate self-sabotaging behaviors. Transformation is underway. Patience required. Grand chine. Somebody has a grand chine in their... Look it up. It's pretty spectacular energy, but it's also um, super difficult for us to let go of negative attachments in order to allow all the blessings in. Um, in your birth chart, you, you may be destined for greatness, you know, if you have a grand trine. You may be destined for greatness, but you just can't understand how to get there. Start to evaluate what are your blocks to your abundance, to your um, happiness, to your joy. Start to prune all of that out of your life in order to let the greatness in. So I hope that this has helped you, Air Signs, some way. Um, if these messages resonated with you, please, 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 if you're watching this on Facebook, if you could take the time to go over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel and like the video if you can, if you liked it. You know, obviously, if you liked it, if you could like it, um, it'd be perfect because that helps me to reach a larger audience. And, um, you know, the algorithms of, of uh, in the interweb, um, the more people who subscribe to my channel, the more people who get to view it because, you know, YouTube puts it in a larger audience. So if you could um, subscribe to my page, um, to my channel greatly appreciated and you'd be helping me um, tremendously. So I hope that you have a great rest of your night and we'll be talking to you again soon. Good night, air signs.